Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 99, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. And uh, we, we just had... <laughs> We just had to make a, a, a... We didn't run away from Andron. We did strategically relocate to a position of previous occupancy. Yeah, that sounds about right, right? Because th <laughs> things got a little crazy up there. I'm just saying. Okay, that's an empty box. I'll have to have some crew conversations a little bit later. I did... Um... Okay. Did, did I trip over the line or something? And... Oh, yeah, that's right. When we were last over on Dixon, uh, some assassins of some sort were assaulting the Mandalorians, and I guess we'll get a chance to see... How that all fared. Alright, empty bag. All the containers still seem to be empty, sadly enough. Uh, hey, Braylor. I don't think you'll be able to return to Isis anytime soon. Yeah, I know. General Vaklu has a great deal of power. I noticed. Even a Jedi couldn't defeat an entire army alone. Well, I mean, depends on the Jedi and the army. That he does. I prefer credits, but you know. All right, so there, <laughs> there's, there's like two or three workbenches down here, and that's why I really wish I could have gotten down here in the uh, interim between streams. Yes, I'm going to keep grousing about that for just a little bit longer, but not too much longer. Let's uh, check in with these guys. I did well in the battle before you left. Zaga said he may make a war of me yet. Oh, good. You have fought more battles on Isis. You are truly formidable. Yes, I am. Don't you forget it, neither. All right, let's uh, head this way. Yes, it is. Uh oh. What's well, here? I hear you handled Isis adequately. Yeah. Mandalore has left me in charge until he has finished his journey to reunite the clans. If there is any change planet side, I'll send you a message. All right. Mandalorians will rise again. There's a lab station. Nothing else to do here. Uh, by the by, is can we head back up here now? Are are you gonna get you gonna get cranky at me? Or is it now that you're in my party? Alright, you know what? Before I do that, let's go ahead and save the game. Just in case, so we can back up. Oh. It's the Mandalore's quarters? Exar Kun's light battle suit. Hmm. I'm sorry, I gotta check on that one. Uh, that's my thermal detonator. That's the Achani shield suit. That's not bad for light armor, actually. Exar Kun's light battle suit. That's medium armor, too. Um. Hmm. Attributed to Exar Kun, this armor may well have been one of those worn by the Dark Lord prior to his defeat 40 years ago. He rarely went without considerable, yet flexible, personal armor. Defense bonus of 9. I'll have to, I'll have to look at my medium armor proficiency people and see if somebody, uh, somebody can use that. What's the Sith Mask do? Immune to stun, fear, and horror. Bonus feet weapons, focus lightsaber, regen force points, and it's heavy armor. Okay. Uh, I might have somebody that can make use of that, but I don't know. Wasn't there something else I had picked up? 
and strength underlay. Con plus one, strength plus two. That's not bad. I might be, I might be able to put that into somebody's armor. All right, what do we got in here? Power implant and a tranquilizer dart. Chemicals, a Brack Pellaster pistol, a computer spike, an advanced repair kit. Hmm, what's in the bag? Hyper Adrenal and 47 bucks. Okay. Alright. Now that we've uh, reacquired all, all possessions that he might otherwise need, let's finish up our quick trek around and try Kex. Mandalore, quarter of Kex on duty. What do you need? At ease, Kex. Just checking the cap. Young Kex here got a battlefield promotion when his predecessor got quartered by a beam splitter. <laughs> Whatever this visitor needs, Kex, you make sure he has access to it, provided he can pay for it. Of course, Mandalore. <laughs> All right, Kexer doesn't know why he'd let me roam free. He doesn't trust me. Now, I don't want to start problems, so let's just go ahead and uh, let's see what you got here. All right, anything new? Ooh, a Mandalorian heavy suit. Light armor? Nah, not worth it. Sith battle suit? <laughs> I bet there's a few of those left over. Um, eh. Eh. Okay, medium armor. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not seeing anything that would uh, make it worthwhile. Although, a Mandalorian Ripper. Although, I think I've already picked one of those up. A Mandalorian Heavy Blaster. Eh. An Assault Rifle. There we go. Eh. I'm not... Is this the best he got? I think this is the best he's got. Okay. Mandalorian Chamber Mark II. That still might be worth doing, but I, I don't know that it's worth 3800 No, sorry, 3850 Nah. Eventually I might be able to make better or the same. Oh. Word has spread that you have defeated Braylar. The story of that battle will be told in our clan for years to come. Mm -hmm. Safe journey to you. Thank you. Safe journey to you. Show me the way. No, this is the way. Show me the way is a really bad song from... 80s? Yeah, 80s. 90s? 80s? After the ambush, Kelvin's okay. been pushing to get the entire base 100% operational. My buddy, yes. So, I have work I gotta do. Okay, then I'll leave you to it. Oh, there's some remains that didn't get looted. Ah, a grenade. Ready to head back to your ship? Give the word and I'll take you there. All right, as much as I'd love to walk back myself and encounter all the stuff, I'm going to go ahead and jump back to the ship. Okay, that guide is probably going to be our quick jump to and from the camp from here on out, which is nice. Let's, uh, let's board the Ebon Hawk. Uh-oh. Here we go. Yeah. Command, you will talk. Defiant statement. There is nothing you can do to <laughs> me. Do your worst. Agonized exclamation. <gasps> Is is he torturing a copy of himself? I think he likes that a little too much. I thought he couldn't do that to his clones either. My prisoner has revealed something of interest. Allow me to share it with you. Statement. The facility. <laughs> 
entity that is creating these cruder, unsophisticated versions of me is located on Telos. Oh. I propose we go there and turn it into a smoldering crater. Finally decided to let me take a look at your circuitry. Answer. <laughs> Indeed, I did. I hope you understand how difficult it is for me to trust a meat bag with something as delicate as my inner yeah, mechanics. Easy with the meat bag stuff. He's the mechanic. Always be nice to your mechanic. Me I should look into upgrading my capabilities in order that I may be able to destroy them with greater impunity. Worried you might be going obsolete? <laughs> I understand. Objection. Nothing of the sort. I am programmed to improve my capabilities if it will improve my chances of destroying a target. Even as unsavory an avenue as this. You don't have to suffer on my account. Maybe you are better off not letting me dig around in you. Ooh, Retraction. Easy. You must understand. My previous interactions with meat bags have rarely been pleasant. Disclosure. After all, most of those meetings involve the termination of said huh. meat bags. It obviously couldn't have been your charming personality. Now, if you want me to see if I can Thanks. upgrade your function, nice. just let me get to work on you. Answer. In that case, please go ahead. Just be careful not to damage any of my delicate parts. Yeah, watch out for his delicate parts. Analysis. My self-diagnostic indicates that my performance has indeed been improved. Also, many of my systems are reporting improved efficiency. Commentary. Hmm. I am most pleased with this turn of events. It would appear that my initial analysis of your mechanical abilities was incorrect. You're welcome. Ooh, a plus one to constitution. Nice. Somebody else can... Oh. All right, who am I talking to now? All right, uh, what are you doing up? Don't you ever sleep? Didn't expect to see you awake. Eh, let's go. Didn't expect to see you awake. I dreamt of Malakor. Oh. The ships, the last stand of the Republic. The tattered remnants of our fleet, the largest we could gather. But it was damaged, weakened, and vulnerable. The Mandalorians couldn't resist. They tore into us like beasts, shredding our ships to scrap as we fought back. Yet this time, there were no reinforcements for either side. Revan had been delayed out system by Mandalorian scout ships. By the time he arrived, it was too late. And oh. beyond Malakor, there were no more Mandalorians left to die. I remember standing on the bridge with you and watching the destruction of the Republic, watching ships full of soldiers and Jedi burn and die. I remember the look you had when you turned to me. It was the longest you'd ever looked at me. You didn't say anything. Just a nod. Events moved quickly then, even in my dreams. Flashes, explosions, you falling. I could feel the pain around me. And then the memory. The drifting hulks of the Mandalorian ships. The dead. Allies. Friends. Strangers. And then the echo. Lingering. The sound I awakened to in my nightmares. Uh... <laughs> The Mandalorians killed thousands. They deserved it. It was a glorious victory. My decision haunts me too. They had to die. Eh, they had to die. No. Uh, my decision haunts me too. Blame lies with me for creating it. The situation forced your hand. Anger forced mine. Um. Uh, well, let's see. I can choose conversation option one, option one, or option one. If you're to blame for his creation, then I am equally to blame for commanding its use. You realize that unless action was taken, the fleet would be destroyed and the Republic would fall. None of us realize the magnitude of what we unleashed. Ain't that the truth? I so still you don't fought know. fought against the Mandalorians in the war. I was part of the war effort, yes. I worked as a technician, though. But you fought on the front lines. To a Mandalorian, there is honor in that. I could do without your Mandalorian honor. Yeah. I saw the results of your honor. The absolute destruction your warriors brought. I mean, this Look is the way. Now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like that? All they care about are credits. Hey, no, no, no. They're lawful you, credit. I, I mean, lawful neutral. Alright, let's not dwell on the past. We need to work together. It was a compliment, better, not an insult. Settle down. This isn't the time or place. Uh, okay. I, I need to smooth this out. I, I don't want to do the settle down. That's never settled anything. Uh... Ooh. 
well in the past, or it was a compliment? Mm hmm. I don't want to just brush it away either, because I don't want to trivialize. So let's go with it was a compliment, not an insult. I don't need compliments from a murderer. Oh. Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why okay. we fought. We fought for honor and glory in the heat of battle. You did nothing but murder innocents. The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to face the full force of their army. We had to goad them to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. If you ask me, you Mandalorians just yeah, got this isn't you helping. deserved it, Malakor. Defeat is part of a warrior's life. We will recover. Stronger than before. Doesn't it even bother you that your people were almost destroyed? Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in war. Well, I'm glad to have you guarding my back. Uh... Alright, can we leave the past in the past and get back to work? Fine by me. Do I have another one? Journal entry added and XP, but no... Okay, no changes in any of uh, disposition towards me. One way or the other. Okay. Still waiting for Master Kavar to contact me. Uh, it, it'll probably happen when I try to leave. Um, Lost Jedi... Okay. I was expecting something different. All right. I guess I'll have to uh, do a crew check-in a little bit later. What I want. Hmm. Where is the Mandalore hanging out? Nope. Or was he in the bay with Barador? No, there he is. Over by the map. Alright. Interesting that that's where they'll hang out. Let's, um... Anybody hanging out in security? No? Okay. Yeah, we'll have to do the crew check-in. Although we might do that in the next episode. Just a, a quick crew check-in our new people. But first things first, let's uh, hop on the galaxy map. But let me get to this screen here because I know it's going to jump me to something later. All right, so Dantooine, still need to do. Korriban, that is definitely where I want to head next as a part of the major quest line. But I need to head to Nar Shadda first. Because if you remember, there was a couple of Mandalorians there. And I said we'd have to go back and talk to them later. This is the later. Because now we have the Mandalore. And we might be able to uh, talk to them and get more than just uh, move along. None of your business. Uh, Onderon and Dixon. Okay. So we might have to try Onderon again later. But for now... Yeah, and Dixon will probably head back. Telos and Paragus. Um, wait. Did he say that the clones were being made at Telos or that the clones were being made at, uh, at somewhere else? Maybe it was Telos. Okay. We, we might have to head back there too. But first to Narshada because I want to get one of the minions to talk and the Mandalore. And see if we can't uh, advance some personal quests. And away we flew. So tickle me, tickle me, tickle me too. Atten was captain and Anon was crew. Korea's served Mulligan's too. Or something like that. Uh oh. Was this the, uh, was this the video? Yeah, okay. I couldn't remember if this was the, uh, the way into Narshida.
Okay, come on. Back to... There we go. Alright, didn't realize it had done that to me. Alright, let's, uh... Let's make our way off the ship. And... We're gonna take Mandalore with us. And we're gonna take Mira with us, because I think... I think here we can get Mira to talk about stuff in a way that will allow us to uh, gain uh, enough influence with her that we can convert her to a Jedi. That is the hope anyway, because I'd really like to convert her to a Jedi and then level her from there. Yeah, I know, she needs to level. She's like at level 12. She wouldn't be that far if I could help it, but yeah. That's the best we can do. Also, I would like to talk to Ida. Just to... Sorry, took me a minute to remember. Alright, so let's do... Let's talk to Gita first. Then we'll talk to the Mandalorians here. And then... And no one then. And then... We'll... Uh, where is she? Oh, there she is. In that corner. Oi. Hello. Your path returns you here, and I am thankful. How may I assist you today? Um, I wanted to talk to you about establishing trade routes. Let me know if you make progress towards establishing a new market. Well, I will. I will do my best and let you know. <sighs> Seriously? I, I, I thought, well, I guess since, um... Alright, so we get another yellow crystal, which might be nice. Um, I don't see anything that much better than what we had before. Alright, I thought for sure that once we were done, uh, talking to her... We'd, uh, or once we were done with Onderon... Although I guess we're not technically done with Onderon since we haven't finished with Master Kavar. Alright. Weird. Hmm. Alright, let's go to the docks. I know, I know. She needs to level. Let's talk to the Mandalorians. That should be in a little container over this way. There they are. Another Mandalorian. You're welcome to join us. Our clan has traveled here in search <laughs> of work. And if we find a working arrangement, then I'm sure you could be included in. I'm not here for any mercenary work. I'm here to return your clan to Duxon, where I am restoring our people to their former glory. Mandalore? But after Revan defeated Mandalore, no new one was chosen. <laughs> I intend to rectify that error. I have no doubt that you believe that you are Mandalore. But look at the situation we are in now. Anyone could buy a helmet from a swoop track and make such a claim. Oh. And the last time Mandalore traveled in the company of non-Mandalorians, we were pledged to Exar Kun. Uh, you prefer being an out-of-work mercenary to returning the glory of Mandalorians? I am a Jedi, sworn to Mandalore's service. Nah, I am no Exarkun, I am a Jedi, and I have allied myself with Mandalore. A Jedi? Perhaps you are deserving of the title of Mandalore. I heard <laughs> rumors from Isis about Mandalorian sightings on Duxon. So perhaps there is truth to what you say. Very well, Mandalore. My clan will follow you and make for Doxon. Ooh. So that okay. another clan might be added to the strength of your army. Excuse us. We must gather the rest of our clan and deliver them the news. All right. That's progress. I hope. Influence gained with Mandalore. Yes. Nice. Okay. So... That was half of what I wanted to do. The other thing I wanted to do was talk to Mira. I kind of forgot to, to study up on this one, so... Alright, let's, um... Uh, let's stumble our way through. What do you want now? 
Uh, I want to apologize. Whatever, don't worry about it. It's just a sore subject with me. Um, still, I'm sorry you lost your family. Yeah, well, they're dead. That's how that story ends. But not everybody's story has to end with losing their family or their loved ones. Oh. Not all the bounty hunting I do is for criminals or killers. What do you mean? There's a lot of lost people out there. Scattered ever since the Mandalorian Wars. And sometimes it's like you can almost hear them. Like an echo calling out for each other. And maybe, just maybe by finding them, I can start putting the galaxy back together. Okay. <laughs> There's only survival and pain, but they can give strength. No. The galaxy doesn't care for us and it cannot be healed. No. All things are connected through the Force. From such acts of kindness, great things may come. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. But you're not getting anything else out of me. Fair enough. Shoot. Uh, you seem more comfortable here than on the Ebon Hawk. This is why I wanted to get her to Narshada. Because some of these options, some of these conversation options are only available if you talk to her on Narshada. Feels better to be back here, not cooped up on that ship. And why is that? Well, Narshada may be one of the biggest cesspits in the galaxy, but oh. it's got a life to it. Activity, aliens, people, refugees. It's like noise, but relaxing. Like the hum of a hyperdrive. <laughs> More like a screaming broken hyperdrive that carries a verbal blade and hits you up for credits? <laughs> it's relaxing, like the hum of a hyperdrive. Or the tortured groaning of a trash compactor. An interesting way of putting it, it's true. Alright, so it's either going to be an interesting way of putting it, it's true, or Kriya showed me how to listen to Narshada once. How all life there is connected is bound to each other. Let's try it. Yeah, well, I wouldn't go that far. I'll believe it when I see it. I could try to show you while you're here if you want. No thanks. You can uh, keep your Jedi training to yourself. I don't have enough influence with her yet. Than you Hopefully we can work on that. All right. All right. Let's see if we can get. Uh, let's see if we can raise our influence a little bit. Uh, what happened to Pooh? Uh, where'd you get the rocket launcher? Made it. It's custom for me, hmm. which is a good thing because I wouldn't want anyone using it against me. I oh, can show fair. you how to make rockets, though, if you'd like. All it requires is a good skill with demolitions. I know a guy for that. With Mirror in your party, you can make rockets at workbenches, provided your demolition skill is high enough. I hope that works for Baradura as well, because he's the one with demolitions. Know? All right. Go ahead and ask. Uh, what happened between you and Hanhar? Let's see if we can get. I didn't kill him once. Biggest mistake ever. Uh, what do you mean? Do you really want to hear this? Yes, I'd like to know. Well, Hanhar and me go way back, in the worst possible way. He's from some forest planet on the outer right, So this does mean that we have been gaining influence with her. Maybe we can get a little bit more through this one and start the whole listen to the planet thing. Uh, do you know the name of his homeworld? I don't remember the name. Something with too many K's and Y's. It sounds like you're <laughs> gargling Ronto spit when you say it. <laughs> oh, Kashyyyk? 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 Yeah, it, uh, it does. Too many K's, too many Y's. I, I feel like I need to pull the Russian thing and drink about a quart of vodka before I try to pronounce it. But then again, that's half the names and places in Star Wars. Do you know what species he no is? No idea. He's just on her. I hope there aren't any more like him. I get the huh. impression he's not a good representative of his people, though. He's the equivalent of a mad calf hound among Rontos. Some of Boga the oh, Hutt's men fair. said Hanhar killed his own tribe, but those two crud thugs lie every time they open their mouths, so who knows? Um, so he was a slave? Well, not for long. Once off planet, Hanhar escaped from the Zerka slavers, then killed them all. Oh. Why was he wearing those cuffs? I always thought he just liked using them as weapons. Oh. 
Okay, so let's see. Nothing, forget it. Not options, because I'm trying to win influence. Win friends and influence people. Uh, if they weren't strong enough to hold them, then they deserve to die. That's the dark side way. We're, we're not trying to go there. Sounds like Zerka deserved it. Nah, that's not feeling right for the way we've been playing the character. Let's go with... It's good he broke free. Nothing deserves to be caged. Well, before you get too proud of him, Hanhar figured Zerka had the right idea. Oh. I don't think he understood the concept of slavery before, at least on the scale that Zerka practiced it. But now he did. You ever hear of Dursan Three or the ID Cluster Colonies? Uh-oh. Uh, weren't they destroyed? Right. That's because Hanhar happened. He makes what happened oh. to his homeworld look like an exercise in community building. <laughs> he's not a bad Yikes. Hunter. He's a slaver. A predator. It's like he's out to enslave or kill every human in the galaxy, like he's trying to settle some huge score or debt. I don't get it, but he's dangerous. Ooh. Uh, so who did he work with? Anyone who paid credits. And sometimes he just hunted humans for sport. The ones who survived, he sold to the exchange, to the huts, to anyone who'd buy mm. bodies, living or dead. He and Voga used to do big credit transactions. That hut really liked the look of unwrinkled humans for some reason. Oh. Didn't make him too popular with the other mm. huts, let me tell you. Yeah, I'm trying not to think too much about that. All right, so how do you factor in? I was in? prey. And not only did I escape, but I saved his life while doing it. He's been hunting me ever since. Okay. Uh, so he wants to capture you? I don't pretend to understand it, but among his people, they have these codes of honor. But somewhere along the line... Yeah, the yeah, I'm still trying not to think too hard about that, Medic. things called life debts. If you save the life of one of them, they pledge themselves to you. Um... That doesn't sound too bad. Well, with Hanhar, he can't escape that life debt. It's bred into him. But he hates every other living thing in the galaxy, so pledging himself to someone else, especially a human, is unbearable. So when I saved his life, it was the worst thing I could do. It was okay. like slavery all over again, but it was in his head. It's like it pushed him over the edge. What do you mean? A life debt to Hanhar is a death sentence. He'll hunt you until you're dead. When I saved his life, it meant he had to kill me. And so he kept chasing me in hopes I would die. Yikes. I think the fact I showed him mercy after hating humans for so long, that was something he couldn't stand. Uh, what if someone else saved his life? Would he try to kill them? Any regrets that he's gone? That life makes no sense. Uh, any regrets? Oh, I'm glad he's gone. It's like a weight off my shoulders. I don't have to keep watching my back every minute, wondering when he's going to show up. Mm. And he always did. It's like he always knew where I was. Any chance he's still alive? Trust me, if he was still alive... He'd be chasing us even now, waiting to ambush us when we least expect it. And he always shows up at the worst possible time. He was one of the best bounty hunters mm. on Nar Shada. Hanhar never gives up on his prey. Or his life debts. Oh. He's a hunter. He's a natural predator. So how did you save his life? Well, as happens on Nar Shada, hey, there we go. I made someone mad. Mad enough for them to send Hanhar after me. Turns out they were even able to get him cheap. Mm. He heard about me and wanted to hunt me down for sport. He didn't think I'd be much of a challenge. <laughs> what happened? Well, he tried to box me down in vents beneath the Narshadot docks, and he, he'd set one too many proximity mines to cover the escape routes. He was trying to hem you in with a minefield, or why use mines? Let's go with he was trying to hem you in with a minefield. I think he'd hope to drive me into the mines and then let them do the work. Or that I'd be too scared to try and walk through them. Thing is, I knew Hanhar's supplier, and the trigger signatures for the mines. <laughs> it was pretty easy to broadcast a signal to blind their sensor receptors for a minute or two. I figured that would buy me enough time to move through them and get away. Uh, but it didn't happen that way. Like I said, I disarmed the trigger fuses for enough of the mines to get by, temporarily. And Hanhar was pretty fast on my trail. I just made it to safety when he hit the first one. The blast leveled the entire ventilation section. Mm. And Hanhar was caught right in the middle. Uh, survived. Barely. Barely? He was crawling around, blinded from the flash and the plasma burns. Mm. And it happened so fast. All the blood had been scabbed and crusted from the flash. I had the drop on him, and even mm -mm. blind, he knew it. 
Trying not to think of Cooked Wookie. My ears were ringing from the blast, but I, I could hear him. I think he was begging me to let him live. His voice, it wasn't a roar, more like an echo of it. I suppose I should have killed him, but I couldn't do it. He was in pain, he was helpless. So I dragged him out of there enough to get him to safety. And he kept hunting me ever since. He said he'd pursue hmm. me to the edge of the galaxy. No matter where I ran, he would find me and break me. And I'd Ouch. always be prey. Uh, sometimes it's stronger to spare life than take it. You pray the price for your weakness. Uh, yeah, no, no, I'm not thinking. You cook the Wookiee. Let me know how that goes. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, sometimes it's stronger to spare life than take it. Let's let's try that. Because I don't like my other options. I, I, yeah. Maybe. I've thought about that moment a lot. Wondered if I would do things differently if I had another chance. Okay. I was hoping we could talk. Talk? About what? Uh, there are some questions. Yeah. Alright. Double Wookiee and cheese. Yeah. Alright, uh, yes, I'll have the, uh, double, <laughs> double bacon Wookiee burger and, uh, what would you make the fries out of? Never mind. Alright, so I got the rocket launcher. I think I've already asked her about why she doesn't kill her targets. We've already found out about how... Oh! No, we didn't find out about that. Well, as there we go. Shada, I made oh, mad. never mind. Turns out they were even able to... Uh, nope. Right. I had some other questions. Let's try this one again. Not cooped up on that ship. I know I'm running over, but I want to well, see if I can get to cesspits in the galaxy, but it's got a life to it. Activity. Aliens, people, refugees. It's like noise, but relaxing. Like the hum of a hyperdrive. Gamorian. <laughs> well, I mean Let's go with an interesting way to put it this time. Yeah? Hm. Didn't think I'd hear a Jedi ever refer to Narshadal like that. Uh, life has a certain energy, especially on Arshada. All right, let's see if we can earn a little more influence yeah, this way. Right. Save the philosophy oh. for some Padawan. Okay, let's try the listening bit. Yeah, well, I wouldn't go that far. I'll believe it when I see it. I could try. All right. Prove hey, there we go. If you want. All right, I'll take you to the same place. All right, but... I doubt you're going to show me anything I don't already know. And when you show me, don't act like a tourist. It attracts predators. <laughs> Bacon-wrapped Wookiee nuggets with a side of deep-fried Mon Calamari. Yeah, but I don't like squid. All right. Go ahead and ask. All right. Light side points gained. Influence gained. And now I need to remember where it was that uh, Korea showed me the whole listen to the listen thingy. I, I think I remember where that was. <laughs> the Tauntaun sauce. I don't know. That might be a little stinky. Is that going to be the label on the packet? And you thought the pack, and you thought this <laughs> it smelled bad on the outside. All right, to the refugee landing pad. Do you want to finish this up? But I do want, uh, where, where are we going to trigger this? Uh, I thought it was in here somewhere. This feels like it should be it. Yeah, something wrong. I was hoping we could talk. Talk about what? Uh, some questions. All right. Um. Feels better to be back here, not cooped right, up. Let's on try this ship. again. Well, Narshada may be one of the biggest cesspits in the galaxy, but it's got a life to. Interesting way yeah. of putting it. Hmm. Really showed me yeah, how to listen. Well, I, I could try. Prove it. You can show me now if you want. 
All right. All right, but I doubt you're going to show me anything I don't already know. And when you show me, don't act like a tourist. It attracts predators. Um. All right. All right, fine. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. The live stream will continue, but in between here and there, I'm going to find out where exactly I am supposed to stand to get that quest because we're like right on the cusp. Let me go ahead and save this before I lose too much. Okay, because I don't think I can gain any more. I I can't remember if it triggers automatically or not. I I I I thought it did, but I'm also not sure I'm in the right place either. So I'll take a quick lap around though. What's wrong? Why are you stopping? Oh, there we go. Here it is. Thank you. Thank you, Scaris. All right. Um. I want you to stand here and listen. <laughs> Just stand here, shut up, and close your eyes. Close your eyes. I want you to hear Nar Shada. This is the place that Korea showed me. I want you to stand here and listen. Let's go with uh, the second option here. No, I don't believe in the Force. It's Jedi tricks, sleight of hand. Um, hmm. No, it's what you do, and I can prove it. The Force is who you are, it's everything around us. If so, then there's nothing to fear. Ooh. Decisions. Um. It's what you can do, and I can prove it. This I'd like to see. It's not gonna hurt, is it? Is that the first time you've asked that question? No, never mind. Uh, no, but it may help you put your life and all its hopes in perspective. Mira closes her eyes. Looks like she fell asleep on her feet. Feel the currents on Narshada as you go through epilepsy or narcolepsy. Narcolepsy. Okay. Feel the currents here on Narshada, the ebb of life. A simple kindness can be given to another. This is the force. This is the force. And all our choices, from the greatest to the smallest, affect each other, and the echoes travel. Uh do not turn away. Face it. Feel these people, this planet, all around you. I can feel this planet. I can't shut it out. It's louder now. It hurts. All these people. Um. There are Jedi techniques for calming the mind. I can train you. Let's go with that one. That's what I want. I'm sure of it more than anything. I want to become like you. I want to be strong. I don't want to be afraid or alone anymore. Oh, I don't want to keep running, there we go. looking, and never feel like I'm finding what I'm looking for. I am tired of being hunted. When the galaxy takes something from me, I want the power to let go. There we I go. The power to heal That's what I've been looking for. When it's gone. All right. Uh, nothing is certain, but all one can do. I can't promise that. I can only teach you what I know. Let's go with the first one. We, you can live, one can live their whole life with such echoes, but I can teach you to accept them. That sounds all right from where I'm standing. <laughs> yeah, I know. The mask does not look like it should be staying there. Mira has taken her first steps on the path of a Jedi Sentinel. Uh, all right. I, it's one of those weird quirks. I love music, and every time I see Jedi Sentinel, I hear the chorus to Judas Priest's The Sentinel. Just one of those things. Uh, no, I will not be trying to sing it, uh, ostensibly because I don't want the copyright strike, and practically because my voice does not have the range of Rob Halford. Nobody does. Uh, alright. Sweet. Light side points gained. <laughs> I don't know. If Judas Priest was in Star Wars, they, they might be a, a, a neutral... It is kind of a Mandalorian mask, now, now that you mention that. All right, let me uh, insert a quick cut. Give me just a second. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. 
I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.